All right. Now, if you've been able to save some money based on some of the tips that I've given you, like if you did a Dr. V challenge and you gave up alcohol, you, sack, you, you stocked away that alcohol money, right? Right? Like if you gave up snacking, you took that money that you would have spent on snacking and put it away, right? So now it's in your coffee can. Now what I want to do is tell you what you're going to do with it. What do you do with it, Dr. Vogue? Now some of you guys are going, I'm going to spend it on my plastic surgery. No, I want to. <laughs> it's like that that scene from the end of uh, uh, It's a Wonderful Life. I'm gonna save it to find myself a husband. Like no, 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 no. <laughs> Don't spend it on a trip. Don't spend it on your kids. Don't spend it on like your bum of a husband, right? <laughs> like, let's just gonna talk about what we're really gonna do. So. In the alcohol challenge, if you gave up alcohol and we decided you spent anywhere from $100 to $500 a week on alcohol, that means after a month you could save between $400 to $2,000. But what I want to do is say, let's say you saved less than $200. Okay, what do you do? Quite honestly, that's not that much money. So that amount most likely won't change your life. So here's a few things that you need to do. Okay, you want to definitely take this, all this stuff, is to um, spend it on personal development. Everything I would tell you is about personal development. Like, oh hell, there goes my trip to Disney World. There goes my tummy tuck. That's right. So at $200 level, less than $200 or less, what um, you need to buy books. You can get these... Uh, for free at the library, yes. You can buy used books, but what we want to do is start increasing your knowledge base, your knowledge, because this knowledge will be what builds the foundation that will change your life. Just like you're watching me. Now this is free. Put this under here, so you you get um, videos. Okay, so YouTube is free. Just go to YouTube and just search how to make money online, how to have a more uh, passionate marriage, how to find God, how to how to read faster. You know, these are little things. These are all things that I've typed in, quite honestly. But for purposes of this, let's say how to make money online. Because all of us, we have jobs, we work hard, maybe we're on disability. Uh, make money. <laughs> how to make money online, okay? That's what you want to put in the search box, and you'll find it. Now, sometimes you want, want to pay for an online course. I have online courses. I have online courses that teach you how to be successful with your weight loss surgery, your sleeve, what to do with uh, weight regain, all that sort of stuff, right? So those are typically priced, you know, anywhere uh, under $200 is usually uh, $50 to $200. So be prepared to do that. Some of them are free. Some people will give you free online courses so then they can sell you on other products. Now some people are going, well I don't like that Dr. Vong, that's sneaky. It's not sneaky because they tell you they're gonna sell you on a product if, if they give you value. Just don't buy it, don't buy it. But the online course is usually very valuable, okay? You can watch free videos or online course videos, but that's really where you want to spend your bulk of your money is increasing your knowledge, okay? Increasing your knowledge. That's This is what we're after because that 200 bucks is going to go pretty fast. <laughs> Trust me. I spent a lot of money on online courses and things like that and books. I got lots of books, all right? Oh, Dr. Fong, what books should I read? I want you to go back to some of the classic books, all right? Let me give you a few of them. Think and Grow Rich is the uh, you know like kind of the main book that started self-help so think and grow rich rich dad poor dad that's a great series um there's some by david bach called uh um i can't remember like a uh, automatic millionaire um del some classics like del carnegie how to win friends and influence people okay i'll post a list of books somewhere but um get these you can, and a lot of times you can find them for free online actually I mean the full edition full copies so you can be pretty thrifty with your $200 same thing with the videos you know look for some of the free giveaway videos online courses use YouTube for sure okay so now let's say you have between 200 
and five hundred dollars. What are you gonna do? Well, you're gonna do you're gonna do number one. So you're gonna do books, and then here, this is really important. Okay, if you save be if you saved at five at least five hundred dollars, I want you to find and join a network marketing company. Now some people are going to go, Dr. Vong, that's silly. Those are pyramid schemes. Well, if that's what you think, then you can shut off this video because um, you know you just know too much. I guess I can't teach you anything, right? I belong to several network marketing companies, and it's actually my fifth one that where I'm actually doing any success. So people are like, people just lose money. Well, you lose money if you don't work. It's called network marketing, not no work marketing. A lot of people think they're just going to join Mary Kay, Sensi, do some sort of lotions or oils, and never do anything with it, and they wonder why they lost all their money. Okay. So one of the things that you're going to look for when you do a network marketing company. Now listen, this is important. This is why a lot of people fail at this. You want a newer company, a newer product that you can understand, that you feel like you can sell. But you don't want to be so far down the totem pole, right? Because like there's so many people in Mary Kay. You're just not going to like make it that far, you know? Like it's just too hard. So you want a newer company with a newer product that's unique. You want a new unique product? There's just nothing unique about makeup. There's not anything unique about Pampered Chef, which has 3.5 million people, you know? You want kind of a unique product that, that's interesting that you can kind of like get behind, all right? That's, and then you also want to look for mentorship. Whoever you're signing up under, you got to ask them, like, how are you going to train me? What are you going to teach me? Okay. Now, why mentorship? Because mentorship is, takes you back to this, your knowledge base. We're trying to improve your knowledge base. Super important, right? You get this. So mentorship is going to help you improve your knowledge base. Because that person who's signing you up, they're going to tell you, man, I tried it this way. It doesn't work. Do this. Send this video. Write it this way. Follow up. Follow up. Etc. Now, if you have to do too much work, like um, Mary Kay, for example, man, if you're like holding three or four parties in your house a week and you're not making any sales, like that product's just too hard, you know? You, this should be pretty simple to do, all right? It's easy to understand, but you want to get in a network marketing company. And most network marketing companies, you need around $200 to $500 to get in. I bought in to two companies for $1,000 each. I don't recommend that. You don't need to do that. I've got one right now. I do my HGH um, gel. You might have seen me talk about it. It's called Somaderm. You could join that for 200 bucks. You could join that for 200 bucks and have me as your mentor. I mean, I've created an entire program. I send you all the like the messages, what you should write people, all the videos. You should send all your potential customers these videos. I have it all scripted out for you. I mean, imagine that, like having me as your mentor. Now, the thing is, like, some people were watching this, or they're, you know, they're like, ah, oh, that, that Dr. V, I knew he was in it for the money. Like, well, yeah, so are you. That's why you have a job. That's why you, you don't go to a job for free. What's wrong with people, right? Difference is, with me, like, I mean, how else are you going get to get around me, right? Got to go to conferences and stuff. Okay, which takes me to number three. Now, if you've got between 500 or over, you know, we'll say $1,000 for this purpose, but it could be more than that. Like I said, you know, if you're drinking $500 a week in alcohol, you'd be $2,000 you've saved up. But anything over $500, now what you're going to do, you're going to do number one and two. You're going to do number one plus number two plus number three. And what is number three? <coughs> you've got to go to conferences see when you're broke you can't go to a conference you can't pay for the flight or even driving there the gas the hotel you know even if you stay at motel six you're pushing it because by the time you add in the conference fee which is usually a you know, hundred bucks to 500 bucks I mean I have paid as much as what's the most I've paid for a conference ten thousand dollars for two tickets to a conference, all right? So think about that. So you want to go to conferences. You want to do one, two, and three. Why conferences? Because now when you get to conference, 
you're going to up level. This is called up leveling. Now, if you're new to this term, I want you to write that down. Up level, okay? You're getting around better people, business-minded people, people who have better marriages, people who are more spiritual, people who are you know, donating to charities, people who are having more fun in life. That's what you're after, right? So you only get around these people if you leave the comfort of your neighborhood, your home, and your circle of friends, right? There's a saying that says, and I know it's true now because they've studied it, but I've seen it myself. You become the average of the five people that you hang out with the most, your five closest relationships, right? So if most of your friends are divorced or you're heading towards a divorce, man. If most of your friends uh, graduate uh, high school or, or just had one or two years of college, most likely that's you too. If most of your friends are an average American, the average American makes only $52,000 a year, chances are you're around that forty to $60,000 mark. Right? So to improve your life, you gotta increase the five people you hang out with. Where do those people exist? They're not at the bar. They're at conferences. They might be at church, but they might not be. I mean, I, you know, there's, I have nothing against church, but unless you're actively seeking out professional business people in church, you're not most likely gonna find them. And even if you do find them, that's not really the setting to interact with them on a business level or a mentorship level. Does that make sense? So go to conferences. Now, these conferences, you know, when I started going to conferences, sometimes you had to get like the general admission, 99 bucks, nosebleed, you're way in the back of the room. But it doesn't matter because why are you going? You're going to up level and by up level, I mean you're gonna bring the energy, baby. This is all energy. We, all, we are all energy. Our spirituality is energy. Our thought waves are energy. Money is just a form of energy. And I have to help you up level your energy vibration, your vibration for money. That's what this is all about, right? This is why I do these challenges. You know, one, it's to break you from a bad habit eating carbs, snacking late at night, alcohol, um, hitting the snooze alarm, whatever it is. But number two is that money that you save from not going to Starbucks, we have to mm, mm, push me, transform, right? We gotta push you out of your comfort zone so you can transform your life by vibrating at a higher energy level. That's how you have significant permanent change. Because if you go on a diet or a fast, or I'm gonna stop smoking, I'm gonna stop alcohol, but you don't change your finances, and specifically if you don't change your knowledge base, which then gives you the gumption to start your own business, which then gives you the confidence to up level when you start going to conferences, your life won't change. I've used this pattern my whole life to, bear, to get me out of a $4 million worth of debt when I lost everything in Hurricane Ike. When I lost it all, even as a surgeon, I was a surgeon and flat broke, I used this step to up level, get me better, right? So that at, by the time I turned 45, I retired from surgery to help people, to do stuff like this. This is what life is all about, right? You are not meant to live a small, mediocre, sad life. Your maker, whether you believe it's Mother Earth, energy, source, God, Yahweh, it doesn't matter. They did not create you for you to be unhappy. True? Everybody agrees with that statement. If that's true, then why are you so unhappy? 99.9% .9 of your unhappiness, I guarantee you, is created because you don't have enough money. Even that cancer diagnosis, even that unexpected health problem, because that was a money issue. You didn't have good enough doctors, you couldn't afford the treatment, you couldn't afford to put your mother in a nursing home or Alzheimer's care. I get it, I hear all the stories. And I promise you it's a money issue. So much of it is, right? So I hope that this video finds you well and I hope that it has inspired you and given you confidence to do, to change your life, okay? I love you very much, I'll see you next time. Bye.